Hello again, mathematicians. We are here with another factoring video. Let's look at these four problems. We are going to apply the same steps that we have been doing for the past couple lessons. Step number one is to always look for greatest common factor. Is there a greatest common factor for x squared plus 14x plus 49? No, there is not. When there is not a greatest common factor, we go straight to the area model. First term goes in the first box, last term goes in the last box. You always need to multiply your first number by your last number. 1 times 49 is 49. So here I am looking for factors of 49 that add to 14. If you are not sure, list out... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. If you are not sure, list out your factors of 49. So that's 1 times 49 and 7 times 7. Which one of these factor pairs will give me 14 if I add them? 7 and 7. 7 times 7 is 49 and 7 plus 7 is 14. Those are going to be the numbers that go in the other boxes of our area model. What is the greatest common factor of the top row? X. What's the greatest common factor of the bottom row? 7. What's the greatest common factor of the left side? X. And what's the greatest common factor of the right side? 7. Let's check our work. X times X is X squared. X times 7 is 7X. 7 times X is 7X. And 7 times 7 is 49. So my factors are x plus 7 times x plus 7. See how these factors are exactly the same? You could write your answer another way. You could write your answer as x plus 7 squared. So you could write this either way, either as x plus 7 times x plus 7 or x plus 7 squared. Let's try the same thing on example 2. Our first step is to look for a greatest common factor. Is there a GCF for number 2? No, there is not. So we are going to jump straight to the area model. First term goes in the first box. Last term goes in the last box. You always want to multiply your first number by your last number. So here I am looking for factors of 36 that adds my middle number of negative 12. Again, this is the hardest part, so I recommend that you write out your factors. Factors of 36 are 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6 times 6. Which one of these could give me a negative 12? Well, 6 and 6. They would have to be negative, though, because negative 6 times negative 6 gives me positive 36, and negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12. They have to be negative in order to get the negative 12 here. So these are the numbers that go in the empty spaces of the area model. What is the greatest common factor of the top row? 2x. What is the greatest common factor of the bottom row? Negative 3. What is the greatest common factor of the left column? 2x. And what is the greatest common factor of the right column? Negative 3. Remember, when you have negatives in both of these boxes, but this box is positive, both of these numbers will be negative. So my factors are 2x minus 3, times 2x minus 3. Or, because these factors are the exact same, you could write your answer as 2x minus 3 squared. Let's look at example 3. On example 3, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to look for greatest common factor. Is there a GCF here? Nope. When there is not a GCF, we are going to go straight to the area model. 
First term goes in the first box, last term goes in the last box. You always need to multiply your first number by your last number. 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. So here I'm looking for factors of negative 36 that add to what? Let's look back up here. On these ones, we have trinomials, right? We had three terms. Here I only have two. These are trinomials written in standard form, meaning they are of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Here, my ax squared term is 4x squared. My constant c is 9. I am missing this middle bx term. And I know it's the bx that is missing because this one has an x squared and this one is just a number. bx is a term in the middle that would have an x. We don't have that term. So because we don't have that term, we are adding to what number? Zero. The only way that that number is not there is if b is zero, because b zero times x would be zero and it would just go away. So that means we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 36 and also add to zero. We have the factors of 36 listed right here. If I go through them, which factor pair could I use? Well, I could use 6 and 6 again, right? But in this case, 1, 6 would need to be negative because 6 times negative 6 is negative 36 and 6 plus negative 6 is 0. Let's find the greatest common factor of each row and of each column. The greatest common factor of the top row is... 2x. The greatest common factor of the bottom row is negative 3. The greatest common factor of the right column is 2x. What's the greatest common factor of the, or that was the left column, so what's the right column? 3. So here my factors are 2x minus 3 and 2x plus 3. Notice on example two, we had the exact same factors, both with a minus sign. That is why we could write it as that squared. Here, these are not the same. This one has a minus and this one has a plus. So this is the only way that you could write your answer, unless you switched it. You could write it as 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3, but you can't write these as something squared because this one has a minus and this one has a plus. Go ahead and pause the video and try example four. Is there a GCF on example four? No. So we are gonna go straight to the area model. First term goes in the first box, last term goes in the last box. You always wanna multiply your first number by your last number. One times negative 100 is negative 100. So here I'm looking for factors of negative 100 that add to zero. Again, I'm missing that B term, so we are adding to zero. The factors of 100 are 1 times 100, 2 times 50, 4 times 25, 5 times 20, and 10 times 10. Which factor pair can multiply to negative 100, but also add to zero? 10 times 10. Negative 10 times 10 is negative 100, and negative 10 plus 10 is zero. Those are gonna be the numbers that go in the empty spaces of my area model. The greatest common factor of the top row is x. The greatest common factor of the bottom row is 10. The greatest common factor of the left column is x, and the greatest common factor of the right um, column is negative 10. So my factors are x plus 10 times x minus 10.